it's not as if anywhere in there he says I I believe there were federal agents in uh, no, on January sixth. He said it's 6th. probably zero. Well, on nine eleven, he said it's probably yeah. zero. But oh, he said right. he's asking the question right, about right, January sixth. Right. But he never even said I believe January sixth was an inside job. He said like it seems like entrapment. Like that, that's yeah. kind of what it seems like. And we have a right to ask these questions. Yeah, Vivek Vivek's a very uh, a very sharp guy. I had him on my podcast. Um, he's very he's a very impressive guy. He's very smart. Um, and he's look, he's just one hundred percent right here. That I look the um who is it uh Ray the the FBI director was asked and one of the other top level F, uh, Justice Department people were both asked when testifying before Congress whether there were any federal agents or um, assets involved in January sixth and they both said no comment they they both said we cannot talk about ongoing investigations so the only time this was actually asked to high level people they didn't shoot us a no they didn't say no absolutely not. Let me take a let me steel man this. Mm -hmm. Would it be if you were running the FBI and there was something like this march on the Capitol and a bunch of people were saying that the election was rigged and people were storming the Capitol or they're they're going to be on the lawn outside of the Capitol? Wouldn't you want to have federal agents out there? Wouldn't that be a smart thing to do? Sure. Because, like, I mean, what if they are organizing something that's highly illegal? What if there are some fucking real loons that are bringing explosives and dirty bombs? Who fucking knows, right? Just imagine the possibilities. What, I mean, doesn't it seem like that is what they're supposed to do? Sure, but you wouldn't have them uh, out there screaming, "We're going to storm the Capitol!" <laughs> right? Storm the Capitol. So that's where the difference is. Right, if the there were just the question is, did that happen? Right. Right. You, you know, so if there were just like FBI agents embedded in uh, some type of protest to, you know, watch out for criminal activity, and then right. if there was some like arrest the person or whatever, that would be reasonable. But if they're in there to try to provoke. Um, criminal activity that's a whole different story and if the case was that they were sending the FBI in there because they were worried about uh, violence and they wanted to then you'd also wonder why was it that the Capitol Police didn't get the reinforcements that they had requested and like why is it that there were these other two um, like explosives that we've still never gotten the answer to there's just a lot of stuff about January 6th that doesn't completely add up and I think Vivek is 1000% right to like say we should be we should be demanding the answers to this. Yeah, we should, so that's all. Like that's I think that's a re completely reasonable take. Yeah. And you know CNN uh, they do this thing where as soon as you start like inquiring about these things, they try to smear you as like this is you know you're some type of conspiracy nut or something right. like that. Where but, and the funny thing about it is that like w look we all know their elites conspire. And, you know, intelligence agencies conspire and they've carried out tons of operations throughout the years. We know that. So why is it so unreasonable to question whether like what exactly are they doing right now? Right. It's not nothing. You know what I mean? It's not just that. There's also been cases of clear entrapment that we're all aware of that they got away with. And one of the big ones is that 19 year old kid who was talked into detonating a bomb that wasn't even a bomb. But I believe it was by the FBI, mm -hmm. and I believe it was in Dallas. Is that where it was from? Do you remember that I, story? I remember the story. Yeah, I don't remember the, the details nuts. of it. But yeah, there's been uh, they there... took some young sort of delusional guy, and they they literally kind of conned him into blowing up this bomb, and it it wasn't a bomb. Yeah, they gave him a cell phone. Do this, and it's going to do that, and it's going to blow up. And he does that, and then they arrest him. Yeah, but you you told him to do it. You got him to do it. You talked him into doing it. Like there, how there's been dozens of these since 9/11. Yeah. These kind of entrapment things, and then the FBI brags about how they thwarted a terrorist attack. But like there was never a terrorist attack. The governor of Michigan. That one, oh yeah yeah that one's bananas. And and it is it's actually it's really sad because like the thing with Whitmore, um, what it, they end up doing is kind of like luring in. These really sad people, yeah, you know, like the guy's like a homeless guy who's a drunk who's living, you know, in an attic somewhere or something like that. And then they kind of get this guy to go along with it, and he like resists the first three times, and he's like, "No, I don't want to do anything like that. No, this is crazy." And then they keep pushing them and pushing them, yeah. and they finally get this guy. So they created the the 
event to begin with. There was no yeah. threat that this was going to happen until you guys like lured this really sad, in most cases not very bright guys into doing this thing well, and then arrest them. The craziest thing is the numbers. Wasn't it like there was 14 people and 12 yes. of them were in... Yeah, the whole thing was basically feds. Yeah, feds. And what was the purpose of it? Uh, the purpose of it was to kind of paint this picture of the anti-lockdowners right. as being these violent threat, and so that th this would then hurt Donald Trump in his election campaign. So it's not just like that they were just doing this. It's like they were doing this with a political like motivation. And this is what's so like. This is the thing that's so creepy, and what so many people are waking up to. As part of the reason, look, man, this is the reason why that. Uh, Richmond, North of Richmond song blew up so yeah. big. Because so many people today, and it's kind of what's exciting about the, the current moment, it's also a little bit scary, but that so many people are just kind of waking up to how corrupt this whole thing is. Yeah. And you're like, oh, it's all fake. It's all, that was, a, uh, do you remember the one we, talk, we just mentioned that Tucker Carlson said he had a source that had read all of the Kennedy files. This is when he yeah. said the CIA killed Kennedy. And he goes, and then we asked him point blank, uh, w was the CIA involved in the assassination of Jack Kennedy? And he's and the guy's response was, he goes, yes, it's all fake. The country isn't what we thought it was. Yeah. And I remember just thinking, that was like a powerful, like just to say, it's all fake. I think more and more people are waking up to that. Like these these people on CNN all day, you know, they act so like, um, they have this air of like moral, uh, superiority and concern about as well listen this could lead to dangerous conspiracy theories yeah. this is dangerous for our democracy this is blah blah what about these downtrodden people or whatever and then meanwhile you're like but well, you guys have no interest in finding Epstein's client list really like how are you not talking about that every day man right like every day like you're telling me we found out that there was a ring of uh, like a child rape ring with the most powerful people all involved in it. And you're not just demanding every day that we get to the bottom of this. And in fact, we know that that one ABC reporter was, had the story suppressed when she first broke the Epstein story, right? Yeah. She was on a hot mic talking about it. Yeah. And like, so you're like, well, where do you get off? Like acting like you're the, 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 yeah, this is how the media works. You get quoted and then we quote you. And yeah. then we show you that's how the media works. Like this air of superiority yeah. where you're like you've been caught red handed on so many different things. You li you lied us into every freaking war in the last 20 years. You you suppressed the Epstein story. You bullshitted about the Hunter Biden story. You're all now even admitting it. Even they're admitting it now. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, it turns out there is a whole real corrupt thing to be investigated here about.